I couldn't help it. I have a friend. Okay, it's time for some more election brain ticklers. Coochie coochie coo. Yes, and I'm gonna just tickle him right now. Which one is this? Which, which board game does he represent? Scrabble. Oh. Okay, brain tickler. Did you know that Andrew Jackson owned a parrot and taught it how to swear? Eventually, the little guy was removed from the president's funeral for unflappingly foul language. By the way, my kind of bird. I have a bird, Sunny. I better get that thing trained. Brain tickler. Every president gets assigned their own secret zip code. Hey, fun fact for the Drew, dear Drew crowd. And all presidential candidates get assigned a secret service code name for their families. JFK was Lancer, of course he was. Harry Truman was General. Barbara Bush was Tranquility. John McCain was Phoenix. And Kamala Harris is Pioneer. You know, if I were a president, I'd want my code name to be Courtney. <laughs> Courtney. <laughs> now, Courtney, did you vote? You know what, Courtney? Oh, really? Wait, you're stuck in the 80s? Do you age from the 80s? Or are you permanently a child in the 80s? Or are you like in your 40s? I'm confused. Huh, Courtney, very odd. Oh, what's that? Oh, right, you voted for Reagan. I understand. I used to hang out with him too. Okay, brain tickler, in 1876, Rutherford B. Hayes ran against Samuel Tilden, but it was so close, they didn't find out who won until the following March. By the way, I really appreciate that everyone in the news is like, stay patient. It's like such a really wonderful thing for them to be saying. Okay, brain tickler, Andrew Jackson kept a large wheel of cheese at the White House, and this was a big cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> weighing about 1,400 pounds, and the cheese was two feet deep and four feet across. And Jackson served it at a party before he left office, and when the cheese was served, there was a quote of an exceedingly strong smell, so strong as to overpower a number of dandies and lackadaisical ladies. Hmm, they don't like the cheese. Maybe they should meet the turtle. And one last brain tickler. How many presidents were left-handed? Kind of an insane amount. Listen to this. Out of the last 15 presidents, seven are lefties. That's 47% in the global population. Only 10% are left-handed. So 17 presidents, percent of presidents, 10% of the population, they were James Garfield, Herbert Hoover, Harry Truman, Gerald Ford, Ronald Reagan, Courtney. Ronald was a lefty. George H.W. Bush, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, they're all lefties. And science has shown a connection between left-handedness and creativity. And lefties also benefit from ambidextrous language processing, while righties only use the left side of their brain to process words. This could explain why lefty presidents can give such a killer campaign speech. Wow, I've always wanted to be ambidextrous. I also want to speak multiple languages. There's so many things I want to do. And those are your presidential brain ticklers. Ooh.